Hey everybody, this is Mr. Math Blog, and this lesson will help us multiply with 2 and 4. So all of your lessons can be found at uh, www.mrmathblog.com, and then you just go find third grade, uh, the link for third grade, and you'll find your lessons in there. You'll find all kinds of other things also. So anyways, uh, this is for our teachers, our common core strand there, and then our essential question is how can we multiply with 2 and 4? So we'll have uh, several strategies here. Let's do a little prior knowledge here, you guys. Show the sum of two groups of eight and then the sum of four groups of five. Okay, two groups of eight and sum just means addition, you guys. So eight plus eight is 16 right there. Okay, and then four groups of five would be four fives. Five plus five is 10. 10 plus five is 15. 15 plus five is 20. So 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 equals 20. Okay, now what we're going to get uh, get closer to, you guys, or gear towards is uh, 2 groups of 8 is the same as 2 times 8, which is 16. 2 times 8 is the same as 8 plus 8. It just means 2 groups of 8. Okay, so we're going to be learning our multiplication tables here a little bit. Hopefully get more comfortable with those. And 4 groups of 5 is the same as 4 times 5. It just This just says four groups of five. So you can just go ahead and add five four times to get uh, four times five, okay? All right, so let's try a problem here. Mrs. Bullock's third grade class is having a play. There are two students that have three costumes each. So how many costumes do they have together right there? Okay, so what does the word each mean and how can we find the number of costumes the two students have? Okay, well the word each means both of them, you guys. So both students have three costumes each. And so how can we find the number of costumes that they have? We'll just go ahead and multiply two times three. Okay, looks like I got an email from my vice principal there. I'm a high school teacher up in Sacramento. So let's see, so we're going to go ahead and find 2 times 3, so we're going to draw a model first and draw two counters to show the costume. So here's two counters right here, and so here's student 1 and here's student 2, and I'm just going to put three dots in each one of those to show that they have three costumes each, okay? So there's uh, two students that have three costumes each right there. Okay, so two groups of three is the same as just three plus three, which is just six. Okay, and so when we record this, we're going to go two times three, and that just means the two stands for how many groups. There were two students, and then the three stands for how many in each group. Each student had three costumes, and then six is how many in all. So six is our product right there. Okay, so the two students have how many costumes in all? They have six costumes in all. Okay, easy enough. All right, so let's try this, you guys. Let's try multiples of two. So here, uh, I showed you two times one. Two times one means uh, two groups of one. So it's one plus one, which is two. Two times two is the same as two groups of two. So two plus two is four. Two times Okay, we're just going to keep going. This is going to be 2 times 3, so it's going to be 2 groups of 3. 3 plus 3. 2 times 4. 2 times 5. 2 times 6, 7, 8. And then this would be 2 times 9. Okay, so uh, let me go ahead and fill those in right there. Okay, so 2 groups of 3 is the same as 2 times 3. So that is 3 plus 3. 3 plus 3 equals 6. Okay. 2 times 4 is the same as 4 plus 4. I'm just going to keep my cursor over there. 2 times 5 is the same as 5 plus 5. And 5 plus 5, if I hold up all 5 fingers on each hand, I have 10 fingers up. So there's 10. 2 times 6 is the same as 6 plus 6, which is 12. Okay. 2 times 7 is 7 plus 7. And 7 plus 7 is 14. 8 plus 8 is 16. 9 plus 9 is 18. Okay? All right, and then uh, here, so what did you notice about the products when you multiplied by 2's? Okay, the products are these final answers. Here's 2, here's 4, here's 6, here's 8, here's 10, 12, 14, 16, and finally, 18 right there. So what did you notice about those? Well, those are all nice even counting numbers. So the products of twos always gave us an even number, okay? All right, so let's count by twos. When there are two groups in each, you can count by twos uh, to find out how many there are in all. Okay, so this time, uh, Mrs. Bullock, she has uh, four students, and each of the four students has two costumes each. So how many costumes do they have? 
Okay, and here's another way. We can just have a number line here and we can skip counts. Instead of counting by ones, we're going to count by twos. So we'll count, we'll just go plus two plus two on the counting line. Skip counts on the number line by drawing the jumps on the number line. So watch. We'll start at zero and we'll go plus two. Okay, and I'm going to do it this many times, four times. So there's one. Okay, so here's another one. There's my second one, plus two. There's my third one, plus two. There's my fourth one, plus two. So if you add two four times, you're going to get to eight right there. So the four students are going to have eight costumes in all. Okay, so that's another way just by counting on the number line. All right, we can use doubles to find four times five. So when you're multiplying by four, then what you can do is you multiply, uh, multiply by two and then double that answer. Okay, double that product. The product is the answer. So let's multiply four times five. We're going to do first do two times five and get that answer, and then we'll just double that product. Whatever the answer is on 2 times 5, we'll just double that. And a lot of you guys probably already know what 2 times 5 is. Okay, so here's my two groups right there. And then each one, there's going to be five dots in there. Okay, so I'm going to put five dots in each one of those right there. Okay, and then so 2 times 5, if I count them all up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so 2 times 5 equals 10, which is 5 plus 5. Okay, so then we're going to double that product. So there it is doubled right there. And if you count all those up, we're going to have 10 plus 10, which is 20 right there. Okay, so uh, 4 times 5 just ends up being 20. Okay, nice and easy lesson. I hope that helped and I hope that made sense. Take care, you guys.